My name is Greg Hill. I'm the vice president of art and production at iRacing.com Motorsport Simulations. I'm here today at Mid Ohio Sports Car Course, and I'm here with the iRacing Laser Scan team. And what we're going to do today is we're going to use this device behind me to, to digitally capture this race course. Yeah, actually, uh, right over my shoulder, right there, that's a laser scanner. Um, we put it up on a, a tripod. And what it will do is it will um, basically rotate 360 degrees. And as it's doing that, it will shoot out a laser pulse. And that laser pulse will hit the ground in front of it, and it will record uh, that point in a three-dimensional database. And we're able to use that to recreate the track back in our offices. So the benefit of using the laser scanner is that it's essentially digitally recreating everything on the racetrack. The subtleties, all the nuances, if there's a bump, if there's a pothole, if there's a crack, the scanner will capture it. And we're able to go back to our offices and recreate that perfectly. We've had experiences in the past where drivers have identified at a certain course, maybe there's a, tr a certain tree that they'll use as a brake marker. Now if that tree is not in our simulation, it wouldn't be an accurate experience. All right, so these are our scanning spheres. There are six inch spheres, uh, and we use eight of them per scan location. We use four in front and four in the rear. And uh, what they are, they serve as points of commonality. This is one scan location, then we're gonna pick up and move farther down the road. But these spheres will stay in the same location. So by leaving these in the same spot, we're able to stitch one scan location in with the next scan location. We have a number of people who contribute towards turning it into a digital uh, raceable track in our simulation. So we'll have track modelers who will create the surface, the asphalts, and the grasses. Then we'll have another set of artists who will create the buildings that surround the racetrack, um, the, the hill, rolling hills around it, the fences. Everything that you see, uh, there are different people that contribute towards it. Uh, in all, probably a racetrack like this will take about 10 people to create, and it could take upwards of six months. Well, iRacing.com differs from a lot of the other products out there. Just in the, what we're doing right here today is one very good example, just the level of detail and the extents that we'll go to when it comes to recreating the surroundings, uh, when it comes to recreating the physics of the race cars. Uh, we're purists at iRacing and uh, it's really our mission to create the most accurate, realistic simulations that are on the market. All right, so we're back here at iRacing headquarters and we've taken the scan data from our trip to Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course and um, processed it. And uh, that was a couple of months ago. And you see here on my screen uh, the entire track laid out. Uh, when we were actually at the track, we were scanning uh, turn seven through nine right here that I'm zooming in and on. And you can see the location there. And we had a number of scan locations at the track, and all this track uh, added up to be 108 million points. Uh, we've actually had tracks that have approximated 250 million points. It all depends on the, the length of the track, how many configurations there are. What this means is that what you're racing and iRacing is exactly what's there because we are capturing uh, the surface of the racetrack, the surrounding uh, objects and scenery uh, to the millimeter accuracy. And we are wrapping the 3D geometry of what you're driving on around this, this point cloud. So there's no room for error. Everything is the right scale. Everything is where it should be. And that's very important for real world race car drivers and people just looking to have fun uh, can ensure that they're having the most authentic experience possible. Well, the laser, uh, we scan at a very high resolution. And you'll see as I uh, manipulate the point cloud here that it actually picks up the reflective properties of the surface as well as the elevation. And you can see very subtle details, like every crack you can see. You can see the difference between a white painted line, a yellow painted line, um, the gravel, the way that asphalt uh, is laid down and one uh, layer of asphalt will fold into the next and into the next. And all of that detail is in the scan and we're able to recreate it either through 3D geometry or through uh, texture works of the pictures. So as I get closer and closer, the detail will ramp up. Uh, you can see here's a painted line. You can see the rough edge of the grass. You can see some skids or oil marks. Here's the curbing over here. You can see the folds of the Armco. As I go down here, you can even see 
Here's one section of asphalt that's folding into another, and you can see the subtle height difference and also the difference in the reflective properties of the two materials. Uh, we know that this is a, a darker patch of asphalt that the track has added. And all of these points are taken into account and analyzed when we're creating the surface that the drivers are, are actually driving on. It's funny, we've actually heard feedback from real world drivers, professional drivers such as Justin Wilson uh, at a recent event in Sonoma when we were announcing our IndyCar partnership. Um, he had experienced in real life a bump exiting the pits and then he tried out our simulation that same area of the track, he hit the bump and he was amused and it really reinforced for him and it, it really made us realize that what we're doing here is, is, is great. Definitely. I, I did a lot of laps around here and just got used to it on the computer before I came out here for real and it, it makes a big difference. Uh, you know which way the corner's going to go, but more importantly you know where the bumps are, the, the dips in the road. It's not what somebody's made up, it's actually scanned and that makes a difference. So. Uh, you go out, the first lap you do, you think you know the place, and it just allows you to get on with business so much quicker. You're actually driving on, I can get these point clouds and basically just build this whole track, right? And every, uh, every uh, bump, uh, every change in transition, uh, every crack in the surface, every, the position of every a barrier or, or fence line or whatever is within a thousandth of an inch due to this laser scanner. So the tracks that you're actually driving on I think are the most realistic thing about the sim.